In this video, I'm gonna show you the one thing that I built in Notion that has helped me double my client retention. And by client retention means for how long my clients stay with me. This is vital for any service-based company. Keeping clients happy is one of the biggest ROI activities that we can make. And if we can do that with systems, this becomes a very easy win. Because also one of the benefits of having high retention rates is that if they stay, it's because they're happy, therefore they're gonna give a better testimonial down the line, which you can then use for better sales and etc. So what is this one thing? Okay, put yourself in the shoes of someone that has just purchased a high ticket service. You have just spent a quite substantial amount of money and you're a little bit nervous because maybe you've had a call or two with this person and you just decide to wire him like $5,000 or something like that. So you may be wondering, did I do the right thing? Is this guy going to scam me? Is this guy good enough? This is what it's called buyer's remorse. So our objective as service providers is to reduce buyer's remorse as much as possible. And for that, the very first impression that we give our customer right after he's paid is crucial. Imagine that they pay you and you take one day to get back to them. Holy shit, what is that customer going to think about you? Now imagine the opposite. That guy pays you and he receives an email with everything that he needs to get on board into your service with a form where he is going to be able to share with you all the information that you need to provide the service with a Google Drive folder neatly created for all the videos that you guys are going to create. Everything. What is this customer going to think of you? Oh, this guy knows what is needed and he is giving everything to me very easily and even automated. So this is the thing that I built and let me show you how I did it. The first thing that I did was to actually define what my onboarding process will be. And here's an example. This is not actually the one that I have for my company. This is just an example so you don't copy my onboarding process. But I went through the definition first of what I want the customer to experience. And once I have that, in the back end, you know that I use Notion for everything. So I have this area inside of Notion. So what I want to happen is that whenever I drop one of the leads inside of this status core offer workshop, this is the first step into my whole sales and onboarding process, that they receive an email to join the workshop and then I'm gonna send them a proposal. This is a basic proposal. Every client receives the same proposal with the same pricing. So this is also automated. Once they receive it, they're gonna receive a contract. Once the contract has been signed, they're gonna receive a link for the first payment. And once they have paid for the first time, I'm gonna mark it as deal closed and they are gonna receive all the information that they need in an automated email. So all this process happens automatically. But the first thing that I have done is to always, always, always define it on paper first. And now, which are the tools that I have used to do all this magic? Of course, Notion is one. Then to trigger all the different automations just by changing status, I am using an app called The Gist where you can trigger automations by status changes. Here you can see the four automations that are being triggered whenever I set any of these statuses. And what is going to happen is that this is going to trigger an automation in make.com. So for example, for the very first step, which is the core offer workshop, this automation is going to trigger, which is going to send an email to the person with the booking link. And from that point on, the process that I just showed you before is going to happen automatically. Of course, now if you want to set this up for your own company, you will just have to go through the same process. Just define your process, define which are going to be the statuses that are going to trigger which automations, creating the gist, however many automation triggers you need, and then create the automations inside of Notion. But wait, because there are more things that can make you increase your retention rate. Because it is true that the first impression matters but it's not everything then if the first impression is good but then your service is shit people are not gonna stay so there are more things that we can do one of them is to make it easy to work for you 
I have had service providers work with me and it was a pain to work with them because they were so disorganized. So one of the things that I built for that was a client portal. This is a space for me and the client where we are gonna be seeing all the tasks that we have pending and their progress. This is an example of a client portal that I, that I have. These are reports of the work that's been done and these are all the different tasks that we have pending. Both the client and me have editing access to it. So I went from managing everything via Slack and the client not really sure about which were the next steps that we needed to take in their project to having this very clear view where the client is sure that things are getting done. Another thing that we can increase the retention rate is delivering value through different connections. If you're a service provider, you know a lot of people. So you can also think of ways that you can connect your clients between each other. Even if you don't earn anything, you're just giving added value to your customers. Another thing that I have seen that clients love is when I do regular check-ins because I want to understand whether they're having a good time, whether things are being done the way that they want. And I prefer to be proactive and asking that before they complain about anything. Because some clients may be shy to tell you that they are not liking how things are going and they're just going to cancel and tell you nothing like, no, like I don't have money, whatever. So it is better when we create an atmosphere in which is good to give constructive feedback. And like this, the client can see that you really care about them having the best experience ever. So well, if you can see how you can also automate your onboarding or whatever other part of the processes inside of your company, you can connect with me directly via the link in the description of the video where we can book a call and talk about your particular use case. If you're a service provider, I'm 99% sure that we can help you out in becoming more efficient and give a better first impression to your clients by using systems and automations. And if you wanna join a community of like-minded business system people, we're also building a community where I'm gonna share the template that I use to run my business and the whole process that I follow with every one of my clients to customize it for them. And you can also find that in the description of this video. And that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.